<clears throat> Today's lesson is on pulleys. A pulley is a lever consisting of a wheel that has a groove in its rim, you can see right here. Um, um, a pulley is used to change the direction and magnitude of force exerted by a rope or a cable. There are two different types of pulleys. There's a fixed pulley. A fixed pulley um, is one like this here that's connected to, uh, let's say, the ceiling. Okay. Um, the fixed pulley um, is a first-class lever that has an IMA of one, okay, by definition. And it just basically is good job is to change the direction of the force. So we pull down 10 pounds here. Okay, it pulls up 10 pounds. It's going to have an uh, IMA of one. If we have a movable pulley, okay, a movable pulley is considered a second class lever. So this pulley can move up or down either way. And it'll have an IMA of two. Um, the force direction stay constant. So for example, if we're pulling up, Okay, it's going to go ahead and pull the um, pull the weight also up. This example of a, a system of pulleys is called a block and tackle, where you've got some fixed pulleys. Here's a fixed one. These two are fixed, and then we got movable pulleys right here um, that they'll provide mechanical advantage as well as change the direction. Um, so we've got a single rope here. So we've got a single rope or cable threaded multiple times that then the pulley IMA can be calculated by counting the number of strands that are opposing the force of the load. So we're going to count this is one strand, this is a second strand, this is the third strand, and this is a fourth one. Um, this one we're not going to count because it's not um, because we're pulling down right, and it's not opposing our load. So we have four strands, so the IMA in this case is going to be four. We have an IMA of four. So what that means is that if I've got 600 pounds, I only need to provide one fourth of that weight, which is 150 pounds. So 150 pounds pulling down isn't too hard. Okay, I can use my weight to help me as well if I'm trying to pull down. Um, um, if we have we have one simple machine working with another one, um, then the multi then the mechanical advantages will multiply. So what we do is we to calculate the total IMA, we take one IMA, the IMA of the pulley. Well, this is a, um, a movable pulley. Movable pulleys have an IMA of two, right? Okay, times the IMA of the lever here, okay? So the way we calculate it is the IMA of the pulley, again, is the number of strands, which is two, times the IMA of the lever is DE. Um, the, the effort distance is 12 divided by the resistance distance, which is four. So 12 over four gives us three. Two times three gives us six. So we have a total IMA of six. Um, if we've got separate ropes or cables, okay, then the output of one pulley system can become an input of another pulley system. This is called a compound machine. So our Total IMA in this case is um, two, okay? Because if we got a movable pulley, which is always IMA of two, times two again, times two again, okay? So our IMA ends up being eight. Our total IMA is eight. What that means is that for an 80 pound weight, I only need 10 pounds of force to lift up an 80 pound weight. On the other hand though, I'm gonna have to pull it much farther. All right, I'm going to have to pull it eight times as far as the actual rope gets moved up here. So the AMA of a pulley is FR, resistance force divided by FE. What's the AMA of this pulley system that we have to the right here? Okay. Well, the AMA is FR, which is resistance force is 800 pounds, divided by FE, which is 230 pounds. Okay, pounds cancel out, that gives us an AMA of 3.48. What's the efficiency? Well, if you remember, efficiency is AMA over IMA. So the AMA is 3.448, um, and the IMA that we calculated earlier was four, so 3.48 divided by four times 100 gives us 87%. So our pulley efficiency is 87%, which is very efficient. There's a common misconception that angles don't matter. 
right? And in real life, angles do matter. When we're calculating IMA, we don't really focus on, on angles, but in real life, they do matter. In this case, um, if, I'm, if we got 40 pounds, this 80 pound mass, we're separating, basically, this, this, this strand is taking 40 pounds, this one's taking 40 pounds, so that's what gives us an IMA of two. On the other hand, um, in this particular case, um, because it's at an angle, it's not straight and up and down, okay, it's gonna take us more, okay, than 40 pounds, it would take us 46 pounds. Calculating IMA requires sine and cosine requires trigonometry. We're not gonna be doing that in this class, but certainly if you were to take a college class um, in mechanical engineering, uh, you'd have to learn it. Or you'd, you'd work with it. Um, the, there's a common misconception is that you count the effort strand when you're pulling out, pulling on, okay, um, if we're pulling up, okay. Um, the pulling pull IMA is a number of strands that's opposing the load, okay. Um, so we do count the strand if it opposes the load, okay, or if it's a movable pulley, it could be pulling either up or it could be pulling down.